Hello and welcome back to Let's Play Crusader Kings 2 with me, Grey Hunter, and Nate, who's still alive at the age of 75, despite being stressed out as fuck, and having been wounded and thus scarred. He's 75, he's still trucking. I'm very impressed. If you recall, in the last set, we took over all of Flanders and united it under our banner, the Banner of the Dahar Cause, with a bit of help from the English King. And that's what makes this a little teensy-weensy bit awkward. See, I feel sorry for the guy. Well, technically, I don't feel sorry for the guy. I feel sorry for his, um, for his son. Because his son is going to get so, so very screwed over by me. It's kind of mean, actually, but it's going to happen. It's a thing. It is transpiring. It's going to happen. So... What I'm going to do is, if you remember, I don't think I've explained this plan to you guys yet, but if I have, apologies for reiterating it. If you remember way back when, when I was hunting for uh, good alliances and claims and stuff like that, how I was marrying off relatives to all sorts of different people, well, you might remember this lady, and how she's married to Gerbert de Harcourt who's one of my relatives. She's married normally to one of my relatives. What's that she's got? A weak claim on the Kingdom of England. And it's inheritable. Now what that means is that these two kids, because those two are from her first husband, who I might or might not have killed, I can't remember. No, he died normally. That's fine, I didn't kill him. No guilt. These two will inherit that claim, and out of these two guys, this one's the one that I'm going to press it for. Even though he's kind of awesome. I'd rather have him sitting on the throne of England. Why do I want him sitting on the throne of England? Well, because you might have noticed when we go to allies for Nate, he's got a lot of them, and they all have the same last name. That's because, well, except for Sancho, but he doesn't count. And that's because when you have a relative who's a ruler of anywhere, you get an automatic alliance with them for as long as they are still your dynasty. And you get a same dynasty bonus and you can call them to war if uh, you have something you can call them to war over. Now that'll be useful and the only place we can do it is in England because we control so much of the levy. We control 40% I think? 39, close enough. We provide 39% of the levy. And what is the current king's son going to need when his daddy dies? His daddy who's got all these positive modifiers, like Crusader and that sort of thing? Well, he's going to need my levies, and they're not going to be there. So, my plan is that once his dad shuffles off this mortal coil, we're going to form the independence faction, declare independence, and then install Hugh upon the throne. It's deliciously evil. And it's awesome. Now the reason we can also do that is because the English army's hanging out over here, like the strong one, and we can form up all our levies over here and just go crush it. So if we have to fight for independence, we'll win easily. I don't think we'll have to, because I think he'll just pretty much go, well, you've got so much goddamn power, I'm just going to have to let you go. And we'll go, thank you. You have fun with that. So one thing we are going to do first is we're going to upgrade this to a castle city, because I like to have all these numbers the same. And there was one other thing I noticed, but I'll start time up, because we don't really need to worry about it for now. The other thing I noticed was that my... Granddaughter is an idiot. Regularly married to Earl Henry of Thormond. So we're going to have to kill her kid. Get her to remarry. So who will support us in the... Ooh. Hello. Please support us. And... You two, I think. Nice. Hang on. 
Did somebody who was very, very, very good just die? I think they did. Hello, my Lord King. Oh, no, different person. Different one. Excellent, help me out with that, help me out with that. Yeah, the poor kid is so dead. Duke of Bourbon has usurped the title of La Marche from Bernard La Marche. Okay. Why does that bother me? Right, because I married my granddaughter to him. Fair enough. My co-conspirator of Tay has managed to get one of the maids near Nathaniel for a princely sum. She's agreed to solve our little problem. Fabulous. Get it done. Come on. Come on. Get it done. Success! The world is too cruel for children. Success was had. And a son was born to Brian and Elfwyn. God, stop having kids, man. Okay, so Felicia de Morbray is now the heir to the county of Thormond. But I'd sort of like her dad to shuffle off to... Actually, she's just Countess of Kent, isn't she? But she... Yeah, she was de Normandy. How does this get inherited? Agnatic Cognatic Gavelkind. Okay, so if he were to die, inheritance should revert to her. Okay. Hmm. We'll worry about that soon. Actually, no, we have to worry about it now. Well, I guess we don't really. No, we'll leave, we'll leave things be as they are for now. Earl Abelhard is no longer Spymaster, why not? He got caught again, didn't he? Did he get caught? Oh, he must have just resigned. You're not allowed to resign until you die. Go over there and study some goddamn technology. <laughs> okay. Now we need to hold on to some of this wealth because we have to repay a loan soon enough. Uh, why is that not good? He's been trying to create unrest. He failed miserably and, uh, oh. Well, that's awkward. My bad. You can't blame me. It's not my fault. At least he didn't imprison him. Okay. Actually, speaking of Botolf, what's he doing with his kids? Oh dear. Robert, you need to let me near your wife more. Let's face it. Okay. Alrighty, so she is the heir. I think I have a kid near her age. Yes, I do, but I can't give her Robert because bastards have to marry matrilinally. But I have a way around that. Okay, people won't like me as much, but that's fine. Legitimize him. Oh yeah, you. If you convert, I will let you free. Okay. Aha, easy problem solved. Now I can. She's 11, and he is... Um, 8, so I'm pretty sure I can just... Yep. She would prefer a matrilineal marriage. But she's not going to get it. Cool. Okay. Well, we don't have to kill um, him. Oh, no. I I just want to pardon Andre. Oh, dear. He's dead. Oh, balls. <laughs> okay. Well, that's all right. Uh, Duke Nathaniel I of Flanders. Though I don't know why I'm called the I of Flanders. I was not the I of Flanders. 
Uh, I've set course for heaven at the age of 76. I died of severe stress. It is rather troublesome when you have to kill people. So, quick pause. That was unexpected. Um, Brian can be educated by my son, Brian. Where is he? Brian, Brian. You. Yeah, educate um, Brian, Brian. I don't want to select a guardian from our court. I want to give him to you. Oh, right. It's easier if I give you some land. So what have I got? I've got Vermandois. Here, have Vermandois. Did I give you the, the vassals as well? Or not? No. Well, that's okay. Um, now you educate Brian. There we go, that's nice and easy. You should appear in this list now because you are my... There we go. Done deal. Alright, Herman has left Bolt, Falk, all their kids. That's fine. He's become Earl of Vermandois, and we can replace people on here. So, Jasper. Eh, you're actually better at doing that, and I could do with um, making you happier. So, improve diplomatic relations with yourself. I don't really need to fabricate any claims or anything like that at the moment. Sylvester, you get to stay as Marshal. At least I'm pretty sure you were Marshal. You, I don't know why the hell you are even my steward, but you are so shit at the job. Robert, you get to be that. Research economy tech. Duchess Cecilia, you don't get to be Spymaster, sorry honey. Uh, Abelhard does, because he's good at stuff. Although he hates me. And if you recall, I didn't tell uh, my son's wife to stop plotting against me. So she might just up and kill me. But that wouldn't be the worst thing in the world. I mean, look, I'm 52. But we still gained some points for um, ruling. So that's fine. Nate had a good run. The more wine Mayor Gregor drank, the louder he talked and the... Wait, what? Oh, okay, I just don't like him. Mayor Bernard, I don't like him either. That's okay. Blessings be upon my house. Brian accepts the looking after of Brian. You are betrothed to Roger, who is my half-brother. Now, I do sort of need to kill off Henry. Yeah, she's pregnant again. A young, talented artist from Mortain proposes to paint an iconic portrait of Duke Nathaniel. He's been dead less than a year. Done. Actually, I wonder... Does that mean I don't owe the moneylenders anything now because the guy who owed the money is dead? That could be an interesting thought. Uh, you are no longer the guardian of Yolanda. That's fine. We'll find her a new guardian. Uh, she is good at... Not all that much. Let's see, we'll find a good at someone good at uh, learning and stewardship. Mm. You're sort of good at stewardship. You know what? Why not? There you go. Actually, hang on. There might be a reason why not. Yeah, you're Breton. No, thank you. Will not look after her. Done. All right. So domain domain size is too big, and we have to elect somebody in. Normandy, um, not Normandy, in the Holy Roman Empire in France. Uh, we do want him to be the heir because we're related to him. So he's nominated. And we've got one for France as well. Uh, I don't mind him. A, a kid could be good. He's a prince. So let's put him in there. It'll make this realm less stable as well, and that's always a plus. So what do I own currently? I own... Lots. Um, is there a place that I don't really want? No, not really. And I mean, when Brian Jr. inherits, he's got a wife with good stewardship, and he will be able to take more advantage of stuff, so we'll, we'll suffer the slight tax penalty. Bishop Walter is annoyed. 
Right, uh, your kid. I do hope that it's not going to be a son. Because I will have to kill him, and it won't be pretty. Got 25 in, um, state intrigue. I don't want to be good at chancellorship, though, so I'll just go for, uh, improve my intrigue. Good. Do I know about the plot to kill me? I do. My son wants to kill me, too, but that's okay. I won't bother about it. Uh, I don't care now, because she's not my lover. I don't give a shit. She can die. <laughs> a little bit callous. Just a little. Come on. What's that message? Uh, he seeks to kill him. Is he heir to anything? No, I don't think so. Eh, whatever. Doesn't matter. This might, though. One her up, I don't have your kid, damn it. Why not? What happened to him? He's ten. Hmm. Alright, well, I'll offer to uh, tutor him, I guess. What does he think of me? He doesn't like me too much. Because my domain is too big, etc, etc. Well, that's fine. You don't have to like me. Um, go and study under the tutorship of Botov. Damn. Alright, well, what if I said to study under me? Would I get enough of a bonus that you would? No. Fine. Just just chill. Well, just part of your... Of Wipers is rumored to be involved in the assassination attempt on Mary Carling. Was she the last of the Carlings? Oh, they were married! Huh. But she might well have been the last of the Carlings. Oh no, there's some still alive. They're not landed though, at least I don't think they are. That's interesting. Actually, let's have a look at our own house prestige and uh, score, etc. Do we have a score? Total members 132, living ones 79. Interesting. Prestige 325. I think also when we um, put uh, what's his face on the throne, that'll count towards uh, total levies. Uh, not total levies. Um, got sidetracked to our total score in the end. So that should be good. Uh, speed up time a little bit. Uh, oh, Lambert. Oi, quit it. Uh, they use snake oil to do that, improves our learning. That's actually a good plan. Yes, improve our learning. So how's that whole murder thing going? Come on, you can do better than that. Gorm Fluff. She died a natural death. That's nice. Also irrelevant. Did you have a son? No, you had a daughter. That's fine then. You, sir, you must die. I'm sorry, but it, it has to happen. Except nobody's willing to help me in this endeavor. Okay. Well, where is he, actually? Where did he go first? He's in Kildare. Alright. Let us go to Kildare and try to kill him. Hmm. Maybe not yet, though. Let's see, what's our chance? Ooh, a 30% chance of being discovered. Let's just wait. He might die naturally if he gets caught trying to, um... Oh, the Jihad for Sicily fails. Suckers? Hey, he might just die naturally. So, we'll wait and see what happens. Meanwhile, it would be really, really nice if you were to shuffle off this mortal coil. Felicia de Harcourt, my half-sister, is now lacking a guardian. What's that? Robert de Normandy seeks to kill that guy. Or lady. Whatever. I don't care. Um, you can be educated by... What are you good at? Stewardship. You can be educated by Botolf. There we 
we go. Now he'll like me more. Oh, actually, that's a bad thing, isn't it? Because I want him to kill me. Oh, no, there we go. <laughs> it doesn't matter. He's got help. See, I have a plan, and my plan is to... Um, let's... Actually, yeah, stressed is good. My plan is to let... Um, people kill Brian the first, which will mean that then Brian the second gets to inherit, and he's depressed so he can commit suicide, and thus step out of the way for Brian Jr. Jr. If need be. He won't um, do that whole shuffling off this mortal coil thing until um, he's of age, of course. And I'll want to swap his guardian to be somebody with more stewardship, so probably Botolf. But for now, <laughs> every morning, especially when the weather is as splendid as it is today, you like to go out on your balcony, lean against the railing, and take in a deep breath of fresh air. Do I? As you lean forward on the railing, you suddenly hear the sound of splintering wood as it gives way completely, and you tumble over the edge while plummeting towards the ground. You spend your last moments reflecting on the gravity of the situation. Ha! Ha! Oh dear, I'm dead. Damn. Duke Brian I rests in Christ. At the age of 53, he died in a suspicious accident. Long live Brian II. So be it. Now the good thing here is that Brian II um, didn't actually do that bad of a job. He will have to give something away though, so we'll give... Um, Brian the third, the county of Vermandois. Yeah, have that. Enjoy. My son Brian is a Norman Earl. He has left my court. That is fine. Now, appoint a steward, a good steward. Robert. You can research economy tech. You're good at spying at stuff, but I don't want you to be my spy. I want um Abelhard to spy for me. If he gets caught, I can still have kids if he's got, gotten caught. If she gets caught, I can't have kids. And that makes me sad. So we'll research cultural tech with you in Normandy, uh, in Mortain, and you will retain your position as Marshal of the Realm. You, sir, you are not as good as Jaspert. Jaspert, continue to make yourself feel better about yourself. Now, we do need to have a quick look and see what's going on with you. You're still not dead. Why are you not dead? You should be dead. You need to be dead, actually, so that he can get your title, so that I can give him... So I can push his claim. Okay, um, well, there is one thing we can do, which is marry him to uh, someone of our dynasty. Uh, arrange marriage. Oh, apparently I don't have anyone. Actually, it doesn't need to be of our dynasty. I can just marry him off to anybody. So... Is she good? What is she good at? She's not bad. Okay, I'll marry her to um, Herbert. Oh, I can't do it that way. Okay, well, let's go back to uh, not Herbert, Hugh. Range a marriage between yourself and no yourself. Actually, do I have any um, nieces, sisters? You're 35, you're 30, you're 30, you're 27. No. Aunts, perhaps? Aha! Wait, no, you died. Felicia! You're a legitimized bastard. Okay, can I betroth you? 